Welcome back to you to Tub Point O. Point O. Point O. Okay, what are we doing right now, Terry? Hey, we're gonna go ahead and do a little review here, Ron. Uh, Sounds great. You got it. You've been seeing good movies lately. I actually have seen the Avengers: Age of Ultron twice. I meant to say that too. Okay, did you? Uh, I saw it IMAX in 3D, and I saw it just regular theater HD. How about yourself? I just went to the theater and saw it. Regular theater. Myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I, I bet you the IMAX was pretty awesome. Really awesome, and just for a couple dollars more, well worth being in real 3D. Really great. Yeah. Great to see. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> can't argue with that. No, I can't argue with that. Well, uh, let's start off with, of course, the obvious, the positives. Uh, Marvel has done a great job with most of their movies. I mean, the good majority, in my opinion. Uh, especially the Avengers, the one and two. I mm -hmm. love. I really loved the first one. Uh, I thought it was cool how they had the uh, monster. Spoilers, by the way. There's going to be spoilers in this. The monster. Hey, for those three the people haven't in America that haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the monster from the uh, original. That they were saving mm -hmm. that uh, Tony Stark went in to check out at the very beginning of the movie. Yeah. Um, I think it was at the beginning, yes. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed, I thought that was a pretty cool little, you know, hello, remember the first one? Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite scenes, this had to be one of my favorite scenes, probably my favorite actually of the whole movie, was the Hulk versus Hulkbuster. Oh, yeah, I, I saw the trailer for the clips for it months and months ago. Seen like a little snippet of it, really got me hungry, really got me starving to see it, and I'm telling you, it was not a letdown. Yeah, they, great fight. Yeah, they really, you know, you really you think usually with those kind of things, they just kind of give you the meat of it, and you don't see Jack Dilly later. They they really delivered on that. Yeah, the only thing I can compare that fight to, as I watched the first time in the theater, was uh, Man of Steel. Oh really? It, then and, that was a and you had to wait, too. but you had to wait all the way to the end to see that. Yeah. yeah so I, when I first heard about Hulk Buster Iron Man versus Hulk, I thought, oh, it's gonna be at the end. You know, you're gonna have all this and just be at the end of it. It wasn't like what forty minutes to it, thirty yeah, minutes into it. It was a fairly short early way in. One. Yeah, but um, you got it. Great fight. Oh, just had you at that point, just hyped, excited. Ready for more, and, and of course they throw in a little comedy here and there. I, I love Tom, I love Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. He is a great Tony Stark. Yeah, I, I couldn't see another person playing Tony Stark. I can do. That. I love Just that. Do it. I love that character. Um, love Cap. He's uh, no, he's one of your favorite. Oh, uh, all time favorites. Ball. All time favorites. Seeing him get knocked down by Quicksilver really had me on the edge of my seat. I was really shocked that happened. Just Quicksilver coming up, whack, knocking him out. Really shocked me, and I was really wowed at the power of Quicksilver. Yeah, Quicksilver's pretty. What you can think, he's uh, pretty much got most of the powers of the Flash, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty powerful dude. Now, you've seen Days of Future Past. Yes, I have. Now, which Quicksilver did you like better? I like both of them, actually. And uh, I really, I don't know, I like both of them. I really did. I, lo I really liked the one in. I love Days of Future Past, by the way. I thought mm -hmm. that was a good movie. Uh, those of you who don't, that's cool, whatever. Um, but uh, this Quicksilver had his own uh, stuff to him. I like the uh, scene that they did in Days of Future Past where they slowed everything down and Quicksilver is like turning stuff around and mm -hmm. making sure everything works out good. I think they could have maybe done that in this one, but you know, maybe they didn't want to do the slow, slow mo effect. Maybe they didn't have time, I don't know. But it was still a great movie. Still, still work. Still work. Quicksilver. That was a good Quicksilver in Age of Ultron. Uh, yes, Scarlet Witch. Not you know, awesome. yeah, not really disappointed seeing her. I was really excited that she was really well. Uh, same as the rest of the cast that was in the first one. Uh, seeing Falcon show up, uh, War Machine show up. Really cool to see those guys. I wish we had seen a little more action with them. But hey, you know you can't fit with so much in. Uh, the only things I. The only things I negatively say, I, I really missed, I, I wanted to see Loki, didn't get to see him, really wanted to see something with Loki, I really enjoyed that character, and also I didn't get to see any play between Pepper Potts and Tony Stark. Not much on romance, but those guys have a great chemistry on, on screen together, Paltrow and, and uh, Downey, I, I just really would like to see maybe five minutes of them too. That would have been, that's my only negative, honestly, that I see in the whole thing. Uh, I like the, uh, the little discussion between Thor and Iron Man when you brought that up as 
one of the, which, one of the Greg and which girl from yeah, which one? Yeah. yeah, the the way they got not kind of competitive. Um, I liked Ultron. I thought he looked great. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was cool. Um, Baron, one of your favorite uh, villains, Baron Strucker, was in there. All my camp villains. I love the camp villains. Uh, it looks like Crossbones is going to be in Civil War. Seriously? Yes. Looks good. Uh, only thing I miss, I, I really would like to see Red Skull come back for at least one movie for something. Yeah, that would enjoyed, be awesome. Enjoyed, that, him, enjoyed him the for villain in that one, the first captain. That was, uh, that, and, and the actor was spot on. Yeah, yeah. perfectly done. Uh, like I said, the Avengers, Avengers 2, if you haven't seen Avengers 2, please go see it. It's yes, one of the best movies. Is, I mean, if nothing else, go pay five bucks and go see it in a regular theater. It'll still be awesome. Yeah. High definition, IMAX, whatever. It, it's really great to see it. You, you'll, you'll enjoy it. You won't be disappointed. If you enjoyed the first movie, I, I really can't see anything negative in the second one. You'll really enjoy it. Uh, it ties in a lot of stuff. Iron Man 3, you'll see. You kind of get a hint of what happened from Iron Man 3. It, it flashes up to what the next set of movies are going to be about. It, it's really good. I think Spoiler. everyone will like it. Yeah, I think everybody's gonna really enjoy it. So it's Thanos. Yes, that's yeah. The in, the in yeah. credit scene, Thanos looks like he's gonna take business into his own hands. Thanos. Uh, they did give uh, the mind gem, I think, to Vision. Yes, they put the so mind they vision. They changed vision. that a little bit, but I want to kind of see how that goes when Thanos comes and takes that gem back. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be tough. And I can't wait to see Adam Warlock, you know, one of my favorite um, I, Yeah, let's let's hope that you know, Marvel can put them in the, in the movie and not use him, you know, hopefully 20th Century Fox or whatever doesn't have him with Fantastic Four. Yeah, really. And tie him up there. Hate to see that. That would just be awful. But uh, good luck. Hope the uh, next Avengers movie goes good. And I can't wait to see Ant-Man in a couple of uh, I'm looking forward to Ant-Man myself. Yeah, really uh, excited. And, uh, I'm not sure about the Fantastic Four. Yeah, not really. Yeah, not not really feeling. Stuff it. Yeah, I'm it. not feeling either trailer. I saw it a 3D trailer at the uh, IMAX. Yeah. Not feeling it. It's just not my thing. I'm a big Fantastic Four person. You know. Oh, I've, I know you're. A Fantastic I've collected Four Fantastic back. Four for almost 20 years. The movie, I'm just not feeling this one. Just not feeling it. Big uh, Reed Richards fan, right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reed's awesome. Amazing individual. Uh, so I, I would suggest. Rules. Yes. But I would suggest anyone who wants to go see Avengers, Age of Ultron, please go see it. It's, it's probably one of the best movies out there. Yes, that's, I, I agree with you, Ron. That is a, hand sounds one of the better movies probably you'll get of the summer. I don't know if Ant-Man will compare as well. I, it may be. I don't know. I haven't got to see it yet. I would say it's a great date flick, too. If you want to take a date. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good date flick. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff in it for everybody. You get a little bit of romance between Scarlet Witch and uh, Bruce Banner, and uh, get a little bit of a taste from you get to see Hawkeye's family. Spoiler, yeah. um, which was a nice swerve for me. I will say for people that have already seen it, I honestly thought either Ultron was going to come back and kill Hawkeye's family, destroy the farmhouse, or Hawkeye was going to die. I, I was really shocked when that none of this happened. And uh, I just I thought it was really cool the way they actually humanized you know made Hawkeye you get to know Hawkeye's family and everything yeah. that was really cool. Way different than in the first movie where Hawkeye was like the Terminator, didn't yeah. do much of anything, just a cold, calculating guy. Yeah. A lot, a lot of fun. You got to learn a lot more about Hawkeye. I, I actually would probably pay to see a Hawkeye movie if yeah. one came out. And uh, I think they're coming. Out, I know they're coming out with a Black Widow movie. That not correct. I heard they are. I've yeah, heard it's about that. Possible. I would love to see it. I, I'd like to see a Hawkeye movie too. I think it'd be mm -hmm. neat. Do uh, you know of any others that are coming out? Well, I know. Uh, definitely know we got the Fantastic Four coming out. Ant Man's coming out. Uh, Cap is out next year. Cap 3 Winter uh, Civil War. Uh, the new Batman vs. Superman movie. Yeah. Uh, tons of other stuff coming up. I think there's a Doctor Strange in the works. Oh, that'd be cool. I'd so, like to see that. Lots of good stuff. Um, yeah, I understand Wonder Woman's going to be in the... Uh, and Justice Aquaman 2. Oh, it's in Aquaman 2. Okay. Yeah, the Aquaman's going to be in there. Oh, he is going to be in there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Batman vs. Superman's going to be Aquaman. It looks like Doomsday, from what I've been reading. So, interesting. It might be a lot of action packed in that. I, I'd like to see it. Just to see Ben Affleck as Batman. Interesting. So, I, this is Ron. And I'm Terry. And we'll see you guys next time.